This patient's vital signs are being remotely monitored. Although not in the same room, a respiratory therapist is monitoring details such as the patient's oxygen saturation levels and his respiration rate. The team at Ng Teng Fong General Hospital demonstrated how they could remotely monitor patients with chronic respiratory conditions on non-invasive ventilation, or NIV. So comparatively to the old system where we had to wait for the nurse to pick up the alarm, um, call us and then we would do some troubleshooting over the phone before going up to the wards ourselves. Um, the new system is definitely much faster where we can instantaneously visualize the patient scenario, what's going on with um, their vitals as well as the NIV uh, parameters. And so straight away we can have an idea of what's going on with the patient and then we call the nurse, we proactively call the nurse and we are able to give her um, instant solutions even for troubleshooting and fixing whatever's wrong or we can immediately uh, recommend that she escalate if needed. Patient in that 52 could you help me to check on him? He's in respiratory distress. Remote monitoring means the new system cuts the time needed to assess and attend to a patient by minutes. Previously, it was the nurses in the ward who used to pick up uh, any technical problems or de clinical de deterioration of the patients, uh, and that might have taken time. Uh, however, now with the continuous live monitoring, uh, my respiratory therapist is able to pick it up immediately and uh, call the, the nurse in the ward and this has led to improved uh, timings and response timings as well as improved safety profile of these patients that are being managed in the ward. While right now I think uh, the COVID situation is well, co well controlled and our ICU still have uh, lots of beds available, uh, in the event that in a future scenario where there is a big surge and all the ICU beds are filled up, uh, this uh, remote monitoring process will give us the confidence and, and assur assurance of being able to monitor patients who may require uh, NIV therapy, uh, especially non-infectious patients in the ward uh, via the ICU uh, monitoring process. The first of its kind system was developed by staff from Ng Teng Fong Hospital, Johnson Controls and Philips Singapore. Trials began in April when 21 COVID-negative patients with chronic but stable respiratory conditions were placed on the pilot. During that time, the team saw 95 alarms. Seven of those alarms led to timely interventions by either the respiratory therapist or ward nurses. Uh, moving on, we want to collect more data analyze it. We want to educate and empower nurses in the ward to be more confident in handling the, uh, the, the NIV machine itself. Uh, and then uh, working together with our IT partners, we want to develop an app uh, and also we are thinking of community outreach.